back everybody to another episode. This episode is brought to you by me because I don't have enough subscribers to have a sponsor yet. So uh, help me out. Subscribe, like, share, do all that kind of stuff and help me grow the channel so we can do more giveaways too. So today we have the Creator 3-in-1, the vintage motorcycle. Brand new, just came out March 1st of 2023. This is kit number 31135. This is for ages eight and up. It's definitely available retail, link down below. And if you're a VIP member, this kit will get you 97 points on lego.com. So, not a whole lot to say about this one. It's a little kit, this is gonna be a quick video, but uh, let's jump into it. All right, like I said, this is just a little mini kit. It's only 128 pieces. It is a Creator 3-in-1, so there are three different variations that you can build. There's two bags, two wheels, and we are gonna be building the one on the front of the box, which is the vintage motorcycle. I don't know if I'm gonna do the other one. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do the other ones. So, let's begin. Vintage motorcycle, the brand new, just came out March 1st. You've got a little kickstand here, so you don't have to lean it on the tailpipe. It's a little flimsy in some areas, but I, this is a really cool little kit. I'm, I'm actually impressed with it. It, it didn't take long, I think it's like less than a half an hour, but it's, I, I think whoever designed this kit owns a Harley or an Indian or some sort of vintage motorcycle. They did a really good job on this, especially like lining up this and figuring out where to, the two attach points. So this is sturdy and it's attached by two pieces, two pegs instead of one. It's it's pretty stout. The, the steering is a little, it's just that one peg and these are kind of held in by just some wobbly stuff. And this is just one. I mean, there's some delicate aspects to it, but all in all, this is a good, this is a good little kit. <laughs> the gauge is a soda can top. That's kind of clever, I dig that. But yeah, I mean, this is, this, I mean, for an inexpensive kit, a quick little build, if you're just bored or a stocking stuffer around Christmas time, this is a good one. I, I enjoyed it, I liked it. Quick little video, this one didn't take that long. So yeah, that's all I got for this one, I like it. All right, here we go. It seems that these smaller kits stack the deck a little with the scores, but I did design the system to help to recommend whether to buy the kit or not, not just to give my personal opinion of it. That's what the review is for. This was another quick little build that didn't take long at all. There's not very many pieces to this one, so that's kind of expected, but still gets a 10. With so few pieces, you would assume that this kit wouldn't be very complex, and, well, you'd be right. No unnecessary parts, only the bare minimums for aesthetics and to hold it all together. 10 here too. The flow of the build and the instructions were exactly what you'd expect with nothing out of place and no frustrations. Ten for both of these as well. There are a few delicate bits to this kit, like the steering is held on with only one peg, the headlight connection is a little fragile, and the handlebars are a little wobbly. Unfortunately, that drags this down to a seven. Since this is just a little guy, it obviously falls short of the benchmark 118, so it gets another seven here too. They did a good job with realism on such a small kit. It's one of, if not the most, realistic motorcycles in this size, and you can tell by the details that whoever designed this kit is either a fan or owns a vintage motorcycle themselves, earning this one an 8. The age listed on the box is pretty accurate. It's listed as 8+, plus, probably just because of the size of the pieces, not because of the complexity, but I bet a 6 or 7 year old would have no issue building this set. 9 for this one. This was a fun little kit. 
When I first saw it, I wasn't expecting much, but it actually surprised me. I enjoy watching it come together, and it did so at a pretty rapid pace, which earns this a 10. While this is a great little build, I think the price is a little high. It probably should have been in the range of the electric sports car, but it was actually more expensive, which drops this down to an 8. Adding these up, we get a total of 89. This is a great little kit that would make a good stocking stuff around the holidays or an inexpensive add-on gift for a birthday or other occasion. We've got the rest of the cars released in March coming up in the following weeks, so if you haven't subscribed, hit the button below so you don't miss anything. As for now though, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.